welcome to another edition of the Full Arch Masters podcast. Uh, I'm, I'm Dr. Ryan Dunlop, and I'm here on a beautiful sunny day in Fresno, California. We just are wrapping up another edition of our flagship course. Uh, this is the uh, May 2023 uh, graduating class of Full Arch Masters docs, and I'm excited to sit down with them today to just kind of have a kind of casual discussion about some of the things that they learned and uh, some of the ideas that they have. So. Welcome again to the FAM podcast. Make sure to subscribe uh, below and uh, let us let me go around the room and just just briefly introduce yourself. Say, you know, kind of like who you are, where you're from, and uh, then then we'll move on. We'll start in the front. Um, I'm Dr. Vicki Yeager um, um, and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. Practice with my husband who's also here. Um, Good. We'll, we'll come back. So thank you. We'll come across. I'm Dr. Smavi Ahmed. Uh, from New York, currently practicing in Florida, Tallahassee. Great. Welcome. Hi, I'm Dr. Punia from New Jersey, Cherry Hill. Nice to meet you. I am Dr. Nav Pantrath, and I'm from Sunnyvale, California. And Dr. Ford Yaggins from Nashville, Tennessee. And Dr. Daniel Yeager from Richmond, Virginia. Dr. Michael Webster from Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada. Um, okay, so we're here. It's day four of Full Arch Masters. You, uh, you docs have gone through uh, a curriculum that we've created to kind of highlight all the big aspects of digital Full Arch from three different perspectives, administrative, clinical, and laboratory. Um, what it, now that you're kind of at the end of this and trying to wrap things up, what are your overall thoughts of what you went through this week? Well, um, my overall thoughts are you know, I was, um, prior to coming to this course, I was honestly really intimidated by just implant dentistry, the workflow. Um, I don't place implants, but um, my husband does. So my goal for, you know, for, for me was to really become comfortable with the restorative side. But as a, you know, as I learned that I, I actually would like to push myself and learn how to place implants because the, the course was phenomenal and I, you know, I'm walking away feeling very inspired. Thank you. We'll switch it up and go back. Um, I mean, I came to this course with bits of knowledge in uh, every element of the full large process, but I was really struggling to put it all together and make it a seamless process in my office uh, that resulted in predictable results for my patients. I've been in numerous CE courses uh, with respect to implants and full arch treatment, and I always left with more questions than answers. Um, this course checked every box for me, solidifying the process from the first call, record taking, uh, the treatment, and, and completing that with having optics on it on every part of that process. It's a full circle course and uh, highly recommend. Yep. Tough. Uh, we felt it was a great course. Um, we have a goal to not only establish ourselves as a comprehensive dental practice, but to add a laboratory aspect and ultimately be able to do a lot of the things that are done here um, un under one roof. And to get the exposure to that and not only what it takes, but the team that's necessary and the camaraderie that comes along with it, uh, uh, really open, was eye-opening eye for myself. And I can see that vision starting to come together in the steps that we need to take to make that sort of thing happen. Great. Doc? Um, so I like that with every new scanner, printer, all of that hitting the market, um, you kind of bring a couple of those and kind of integrate them together. Um, so it wasn't just like you got to get this printer and this or just specific ones. You showed each single one of them and whatever works for us, we can take that back with us. Um, so I like that it was all integrated together for predictable results and you're consistent each time. Um, so you're not, you know, kind of caught off guard at the end. The diversity. Yeah. So the workflow and then the different, um, you know, aspects of the digitization that's in the market. So you're not sticking to just one. We showed each single one of them. Thank you. Doc? Hey, um, 
I just was real impressed with the overall um, explanation and kind of the tell, tell show due process. Right? And it's a talking about time um, yesterday. And so it's kind of how I try to teach people in my practice and help people learn what they may be new to, to our office or to specific types of procedures. And so I think that was valuable. We were able to see kind of big picture in the morning when we first started and then see the surgery and, and kind of ask questions and see that process with your team. And then day two, we were able to kind of work through each individual step of the process going from the gathering of the records and all that with the, uh, with the, the skull and then, um, and then kind of followed up yesterday with actually going in and doing hands on things on patients that were at various levels up there right. with your practice. And so, um, I think that was really, really valuable. And then I did love, um, this morning, the, uh, the panel this, you know, kind of discussion, that was the time where we could kind of that time to kind of absorb everything for the first three days, right? And then you can kind of go back and then maybe ask specific questions that you weren't prepared to ask when you're just trying to see everything, right? And understand it, right? And uh, so that was really valuable. And for me, you know, taking back is it, just better. I think it's it's definitely better patient um, care, better patient outcomes, and having more control over scenarios that in the past I've kind of felt like I'm out of control with, and I've got to rely so much on it exterior lab and, and knowing right. how that we can have more say so in that process now I think will is one of my big takeaways and uh, you know it's just it's uh you hear digital is the future uh, uh, of lots of things in ring in the in our uh, world but uh in dentistry I truly believe that right so some of the things where I've been doing this for for probably five years in full arch um and you you run into challenges right and so you learn from them but when you see opportunities where you can have those things that you've had challenges with in the past be improved, um, then I think that's a that's a win. That's where I try to make my decisions about things I want to be involved with or trained on or technologies to bring in. So I see this kind of as a comprehensive bringing it all together now for us. And uh, you're super pleased with everything. You guys have done a really fantastic job. So thank you. Thank you. Doc, overall thoughts? Um, so for myself, um, I, we kind of started scanning last year. So digital dentistry, mm -hmm. computers, technology, that's a monster for me, which I, can, I, I thought I could never tame, which I thought I could never understand. Um, I'm always scared of uh, computers and, you know, uh, other than emails and Facebook, I don't think I could do much. Um, but this course made me have some confidence in myself, you know, that I can, I can go into the new technology, I can accept it, and I can learn, you know, and be proficient with it, um, just being here in this course. Uh, I never thought I could, I could, um, you know, scan and send files and print out a denture or things like that, but, but I think I can now, you know, I, I feel pretty confident and Thanks to Dr. Ryan, I think I can, you know, I can be one of the digital doctors now. You can. Happy to help. Doc, overall thoughts? Yep. It had been a long, bumpy road where, you know, mm. Full Arch was concerned and the healing times and the loading times. And I think what I took or what I will take home with me is that it'll not only cut short those times for me, which is very important, It'll also make me efficient in delivering, you know, um, something good to the patients. Um, and it's not going to be longer like it used to be, you know, with analogs and stuff like that. And the digitization obviously is like the exciting part, I would say. And that's what I think uh, integration of more um, technology and AI, you know, never thought that I would be doing that in future. And here I am learning all that. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a fun road ahead um, with a lot of experiments with, you know, new smiles and stuff and making patients uh, a, a part of that journey, I think. Uh, and also, like, you know, like it was mentioned before, the control that we can get with the labs, which we didn't have earlier, um, we can also pass over a part of that control to our patients, like make them a part of that journey, make them a partner in their own smile, you know, what would they want to have? 
and kind of dial that all in. So that was all put together very well in that course for me. Great. Thank you for that. Oh, you were very welcome. So um, for me, uh, as an educator and for people, for someone trying to inspire other doctors to follow in kind of the footsteps that I have taken, um, one thing that strikes me about this group um, is that for the first time in Full Arch Master's history, we have more women doctors than male doctors. And that's a, an incredible thing for me because I've taught lots of these classes and most of my uh, groups have one or maybe two women in the group. So for the ladies here today, um, the fam fatales, as I will call you, um, <laughs> what is it like to be a, a female doctor in this environment? And what is it like to be here and see that maybe there's a transition to where more women are tackling this big full arch world, so to speak? Well, um, I think that's partly why I was shying away from implant dentistry because, you know, it just, um, just, um, you know, traditionally it's always been, you know, the male um, um, surgeons and dentists that, you know, tend to really dive into surgery. And, um, but coming to this course really opened my eyes to the possibilities that, no, I really can do that. Um, there's nothing stopping me. I should do that. Um, so it's it's a you know a, you level the you know playing field for me. And that's good to hear. Yeah. Thoughts about that, Doc? So I always felt like whenever I went into the surgical field in a lot of courses, it's always a boys' club. So I was really really happy when i saw all the uh women dentists here and you were also really welcoming you know um a lot of the instructors when there's a lot of males um um they're a little bit unapproachable so you're just in this zone where they're just speaking to the male colleagues and you're kind of left out um so i really appreciated that here good good thank you so Dr. Ryan, in my practice, I've had mm -hmm. um, patients um, who would come for the consult and then I would walk in and tell them this is what we're doing and this is the surgery and you know this is involved, we're going to remove bone, put implants and stuff like that. The first question they ask is, are you going to do it? So there's a question mark. Why? Why can't I do it? So I think this course, um, you know, kind of adds on to that confidence where we can say yes, because we're gonna present everything digitally. And um, patients want that. They don't want an old school dentist showing models in their hands, stone models, and you know, um, when we show everything on the computer, and then they understand that it's not brawn, it's not strength which is needed for this surgery, or a, a, or a big towering man who is drilling into the bone. It's a technology. It's 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 a very um, you know um, easy surgery if done right. So it's it's nothing. It's just more brains and having the right tools and having the right knowledge, and not a not muscles. So that that helps a lot. Yes. So I think this will help me when I present everything um, you know digitally, and all the pre ops are shown, post ops are shown to the patient on the computer. I think that trust level will go a little higher. That's what I feel. For sure it will. So thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, yeah, so they're not going to ask you, did you work out before coming here <laughs> yeah. to pull my tooth? <laughs> <Right, laughs> did <right>, you? But right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so right. tiny. How are you going to do right. this? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a, a amazing thing to hear. Yeah. Doc, thoughts on that? For me, um, I think I was comfortable with surgeries in general. But I think the technology part, adding that to a surgery, I'd never kind of woven the threads together. And I think uh, this course totally helped me do that. And, uh, you know, drawing it for the patient. I was very, um, this thing, like I would draw on the x-rays and stuff, but, you know, showing them off of their scans and doing the other <coughs> stuff. I think it kind of, um, I'll be able to translate that better. And obviously the other part is making the surgeries more predictable. So that to me is going to be a fun part that I'm going to, Look forward to. I look forward to seeing your results. Sorry, boys, I left you out of that one. <laughs> Get used to it. It's Fair a new enough. world. Um, let me ask a little bit for so 
most of the docs here were able to bring some teams. Some of them were not. But so for the docs that did bring team members here, what do you think about uh, the importance of treating this like a team sport? I really describe digital full arch and full arch in general as a team sport, and you need to have key players working alongside you to achieve good results. So for those of you who are able to bring team members this time, um, give me your thoughts on team full arch dentistry. We'll start. We'll start over here. I. Uh- so yeah, I brought two of my uh, main assistants from uh, Canada with me. Uh, they're they're vital to this to my success. They're vital to the entire success of the clinic. Uh, we cannot do full arch treatment in my practice without a team, and that's usually from start to finish. That's administrators, treatment coordinators, assistants. Um, yeah, I mean, often when when I present treatment to patients, I am. A, explaining to them that I'm one of a team of six that will be involved with their start to finish process. So if the team hasn't bought into that philosophy, I, I feel we're dead in the water already. Um, it is absolutely invaluable to bring team members. Uh, I watched the um, motivation in my two team members this, this uh, week go through the roof. This is a true story. They actually s- stayed up late one of the nights working on checklists for about four hours by themselves. And in the morning on the way to the course, they presented these checklists to me. And uh, the energy and that, they're, that they have gotten from this course is incredible. And they're, they're so excited to take everything back to the clinic. That's great to hear. Absolutely. I was just going to say um, throughout this week, it's, it's been wonderful to see our team, you know, just break out. Um, you know, on their own and chat about implementation and tweaking things that we're already doing and and constantly thinking of ways to improve um, it, without prompting them to, you know, think about that. It's It's been wonderful. Um, we're only as good as our team and this is definitely a, a team sport. Yeah. Anything else, guys? I've just- yeah, having having some team members here helps with transferring. Every time I, I do a lot of a lot of CE, right, and and you go to these things and you you get so involved in what you're learning at that moment, right, and you're so jazzed up and and trying to bottle all that up and take it back to wherever you're going for me and right, you know, get back to Nashville and, and then and then talk to my team about it. Um, it's kind of like oh here he is again, yes, yeah, got some something some other curveball. I mean, we just know trying to figure this one out <laughs> so but, yeah for me ha- having two key team members here that can go back and share it's not all about me and what i want it's now they have some say so and, and when we have a, a practice like that we try to involve everybody everybody gets to sit at the table and have a discussion and tell me what you want with our practice and how we want to do things to help our patients but having those people to come back and share that besides just me i practice is very valuable right and and um because they have, they have a different relationship with the other team members than, than I do as being the dentist and the owner. And so right. um, if they can get really excited about it. And then maybe they've been able to, to hear a few things here that will be uh, the key solutions to some of the challenges that we've bumped into in the past right? with you know, doing full art stuff. Then they can transfer that information to the other team. And, and I think um, getting everybody to, to be excited about things is, is a little bit easier for us. Sure. Also just to see, you know, we've already done some investing in technologies, right? It's like, it's not just investing in technology for technology's sake. It's really, it's the people, the smile and the process behind that, that we're going to be able to improve on. And so having them to be able to see that in your clinic from the surgery day to delivery day with those, um, hands-on uh, patients that we got to see, I think was really, um, a, a, a nice thing that they'll be able to take back as well. Sure. Anyone else? Yeah. yeah. So um, I, I did get my manager with me, um, the admin part. Like the first step of this course is convincing the patient. I think that was very important that what were they missing out on? So since she's here, it's just not me, like Dr. Ford said, it's just not me going back and telling them 100 things and, and they're like, what is she talking about? Now she's the manager, she can go back and relay the same thing to the staff, what I'm going to say. So it's kind of solidified when two people are saying the same things and the staff 
needs to learn. So that was very important for me to see where we are lacking in convincing the patient. And that's why she was with me to get more patients in so that, you know, we, we're doing everything streamlined. Um, I think that helped a lot. Um, and whatever information I've missed, I had one more year who could, who could kind of tell me this is what it was. So that will, that will be wonderful when we go back. Good. Well, following up on teams. So, you know, obviously I'm kind of the creator of Full Arch Masters and it was kind of my brainchild, but I have a huge team of people working alongside me to help, you know, put this course together and improve on the quality of the course and do a lot of the teaching. Is there any, is there anything that stood out to you from my team and um, how did you feel about your experience working with the Full Arch Masters team while you were here? Well, I was actually going to uh, uh, touch on that. Um, the The valuable part for um, for our team was to interact with your team and really see how how quickly this information can be learned, and that it's very doable. and um, and applicable. Um, even you know, of course, training is key. But um, a lot of your team members, um, just from, you know, when we were asking them, they learned on the job and they had no prior, you know, knowledge and look at them now. They're just, you know, leaders in the field. So um, it was it was wonderful to see that. Absolutely. What you learn, I felt like this course in particular demonstrated this better than almost any other program in that. It's not how to do these things, but it's most importantly, who is doing these things? What is your team like to be able to make these these procedures happen, to make them successful, make them lasting, that provide that value for the patient? And then not only that, the, the leadership that's involved to find the team and then elevate your team and find the potential that they have within and then maximizing that. And we feel like that's really inspired us and inspired our team members. And, and we can see that, that level of energy in their eyes. And it's nice to just say, go for it. We're here to support you. We, we are, we're, we're invested in your success as well. Cool. I think your team did a great job of, I right, said, so this is who they are. And this is the environment that you created here right. um, to serve your patients um, in this area, but also, you know, to, to teach. Um, which is a passion of yours, but um, one thing that stood out to me is they're they're just all passion. I mean, they seem like they're all involved in in for the right right? Invested, yeah. You know, talking about these patients that they get to develop relationships with. I mean, that's what life's all about: relationships, man. And um, so, when we have those opportunities uh, to see that that you're kind of that, that your team's really giving that out and um, making a difference, that's a different level of coming to you work in a dental office than other people show up for, right? And um, that that's evident with, with your team. So that's that's great. I, we work hard to try to achieve that as well, right? And um, sometimes you're better at it than others, but um, it's nice to, to see that camaraderie and that um, that cohesiveness that you guys um, demonstrate. And I think it sits well with the team members also that we, you know, sort of present this to. Because coming from your team members instead of coming from mm -hmm. us, it really uh, puts the message across and it hits home that they're the, they uh, they doing it, we can also do it. It's not like, you know, coming from the doctor. Right. The information is not going this way, it's yes, going this way. Yes. And that really, really helps. So I think uh, it is definitely a great, great course. I think one of the best that I've attended uh, from a team standpoint, because I think uh, team gets more dialed in, I feel, with this course. So, and you need them, you know, like you said, uh, you're as good as your team or, you know, they are going to be our fielding ground from that very first call, you know, so we need them. Yeah, I was going to add to that, that one of the things that differentiates your course from anything else um, is the community that you have created. So it's not just that somebody that comes in and gets all the material and doesn't know how to go back and implement. We can still reach out to your team, um, like the lab or even the front and all of them to kind of guide you through or even 
use them while we, you know, get our workflow together. Yeah, the so, accessibility so is thank key. Thank you for that. No, you're welcome. Cool. Uh, well, you you alluded to something that I wanted to ask uh, as my last question is um, my one my goal of creating Full Arch Masters was not just to educate doctors. Um, <clears throat> my goal for Full Arch Masters was to actually create a thriving community. Um, and that was something that I've always felt that dentistry in general lacks, but specifically full arch dentistry really lacks a community um, where people can, you know, t discuss and collaborate and help people all over the country and potentially all over the world to elevate patient care, right? Um, so why should we have to reinvent the wheel in every single office and every single town and every city, every single city in the world? when this information can easily be shared in, in a collaborative spirit. Um, so tell me just briefly, you know, this is the beginning of your uh, journey with Full Arch Masters, and it's going to continue into the future as you guys develop, and we're going to be here to be a sounding board and, and, and help you guys. But you're also now joining this big growing community of doctors all over the country and all over the, the world. Um, so what are your thoughts about joining that community of Full Arch Masters and does that excite you? Um, very much so. Um, I, you know, I think what we do is, is hard work and, and it can be very stressful, especially, you know, if you feel like you're, you know, some, some procedures are really stressful and not every, you know, practicing dentist does what, you know, what you do these cases that that we just learned how to you know how to do so having a community where you can you know uh, find a mentor to help guide you um, or be a mentor for some someone else is just so helpful um, and not feel like you're alone in this field so it's wonderful thank you for that support cool yeah I don't need the the support is massive um, I uh, I brought it up earlier that uh, often in, in my area, I'm, I, a phrase that I've heard before is that he's the cowboy of our area, which is not true. I'm just, um, I'm not afraid to challenge old dogmas. We're not afraid to try things to make it better for patients, for my better, better for my team, uh, improve results. And by doing things differently, unfortunately, sometimes you're, you're, you know, looked at as the black sheep a bit, right? Right. Um, so it's nice to really have a network of like-minded individuals that we can rely on because we all know that cases don't always go perfect and we need to rely on others to help us to get through those challenging cases. I really feel like I gained that uh, by coming, by being a part of the Full Arch uh, Master's career now. Cool. So I'll, I'll just mention, I mean, the reason I'm here is because of, you know, somebody who's been through Full Arch Master. Give him a shout out. Uh, Dr. Johnny Shanks. <laughs> Johnny, that's my boy. <laughs> so, um, we have a quick story. I'm building a, a new building. He just finished. So I got in touch with him through um, the design company and went up and talked to him. And next thing we know, it's 7.30 at night and we're still talking and shop and everything. And so, um, you know, he was obviously kind of lives that mission with, sharing and is very uh open with uh with how he's doing things and you know, and then next thing you know i was talking about design and then we're talking about the whole kind of workings right developing a practice that's digital start to finish and being able to have more control over uh, patient outcomes and things and so uh he he steered me to to this and we got in touch and hopefully you know we we're we were able to work it out on the fly, kind of, you know, in a little bit of a long time. I don't think there was a spot, but right. we made a spot somehow, so I really appreciate that. But that's just a testament to the people that are involved and their willingness to to sit and to, um, to help people that, you know, are still on that journey, and we're all on a journey. I don't think we're ever all finished, right? We're all continuously learning, um, and that's what's cool to be around people like that. But, uh, you know, that was, to me, that was, you know, I, I, I'm going to, get in touch with him later today to say, man, thanks. You know, it was, it exceeded my expectation with, with coming out here. And, um, so for people like that, they'll take time and make sure that, uh, if you're like-minded with your philosophies and what you're trying to do to help your patients, um, that's, that's a testament to, to not only him, but I'm sure to lots of the other people that have been through this. Sure. You know, that, that whole 
community that you're speaking of. So I look forward to, to being more involved in that uh, in the future. Well, in a short period of time, you might be on the flip side of that that discussion. You'll be talking to somebody who's looking to you for expertise and mentorship, and then you just feed it right back to the right. And that's a shout out to you, Johnny. That's my brother from another mother out there. <laughs> He's a good guy. Uh, anyone else? Since we're yeah. giving shout outs, I want to give one to Dr. Sam Sheen. He introduced me to uh, the program. Um, so thank you so much for that. I so think it's, it's exceeded my expectations, really. Yeah. Um, and same thing. I'm really glad to be part of that community. So when I go back, and each case is just different, it's good to have like minded people give their opinion on it. Right. I agree. Yeah. So we'll also give a shout out yes. myself. I was going to say, Anna. you guys are going to share it. So we, uh, we have been sent here, Nav and I, from, from uh, Dr. Uh, Avinash Mata from Minnesota. Right, another brother from another. And man. he's been recommending you to us for a while, and yeah. we just made this decision and came here, and we're very glad that we did it. He swears by your name, so yes. So I'm glad that we are here, and uh, you know we're going to do the same. I'm going to try to inspire as many um, women doctors to yeah. <laughs> come here yeah. and and learn and because it's worth it. Well, if you think about it, 50% of dentists are women, but only 10% do implants and only five or four or 3% do full arch. And out of that small group, like 95% are men. So, I mean, it just, the numbers don't lie. We need way more women to get involved with full arch. And how many do digital flow like? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we're talking it's, about- It's a very small number. They might all be in this room. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, we've had, we've had some very amazing uh, female doctors come through FAM and they're excelling and doing amazing things, but it's a, a very small group. So we definitely need to push that because there should be, I mean, if it's 50% dentists, there should be 50% of digital full arch dentists that are female as well. It just makes sense. I have two more that I'll be introducing women again <laughs> to the FAM group. They're more so than they're welcome. They're in the pipeline. So shout out to you, Avi. Uh, yeah, that's one. That's another amazing doctor from uh, Minneapolis, I think. And uh, he's come through the flagship, the lab course, the surgery course, everything. So, okay, well, thank you guys so much. Um, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedules, out of your lives, um, leaving so much behind to come here for the week and learn. Um, I take that extremely seriously and I try to deliver the highest quality uh, education in four days that I possibly can. So I appreciate the kind words. Um, is there anything else that you felt you wanted to say that didn't get covered? I want to give a shout out to Dr. Annie's lecture. Oh, yeah. It really resonated with me, you know, um, that a successful case is it just begins from the very start. And we tend to forget the psychology. Um, element of it. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a huge under discussed topic is yep. the, the mental health impacts of, of uh, full arch dentistry. Yep. So I, I try to get that through as, as clearly as I can, but well, she'll see this and I'll make sure to tell her. I, I'm kind of biased towards her. <laughs> uh, all right, great. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, we're we're going to try to pull in some of your team members and maybe do a kind of a similar discussion with them if they want to. Um, but uh, congratulations, and the rest of the day is totally an open book for you guys. So if you have unanswered questions or you have topics you want to review, you want to do something completely again, um, you know, the, the whole organization is open for you guys today. So thanks for tuning in to uh, another edition of the Full Arch Masters podcast. Again, we are here in sunny, warm uh, Fresno, California in May 2023, and we are finishing up day four of our most recent flagship course. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and stay tuned for more Full Arch Masters.